Hi everybody, I'm Lucas Leaf, Executive Director at Sportsman for the Boundary Waters, and we're here to talk about packing tight, uh, specifically into this 3600 Plano uh, tackle box. Um, the reason we're talking about this is because we're trying to condense down, you know, uh, the gear that we're trying to bring to cover a ton of ground to catch multiple different species in the Boundary Waters Canary Wilderness. Boundary Waters is a 1.1 million acre wilderness area. Uh, that has world-class fishing and hunting. Uh, the top four, we call it the Grand Slam, is walleye, smallmouth bass, northern pike, and lake trout. So what we're really trying to do is pick baits that cover all four of these species, right? So we have the article, it covers like the full list of what we've condensed down here. There's a few that I definitely want to talk about. First, we're, we have to go with talking about the bobber set. And there's gonna be people out there that are probably laughing at me talking about this, but this is the most universal locator set that you can have. This is the best thing to have in your canoe. This is the best thing to have at camp. It's the best thing for kids to enjoy it as well. It's a family area. You know, two to 99 can go up there. It doesn't matter how old you are. But the, the beauty of a bobber set is you can target multiple different depths and multiple different species. So you're looking at just a simple, you know, one foot off the, off the uh, bottom all the way up to, you know, five feet from the top, depending upon, sh you know, how, how deep the water is that you're fishing. You're generally using leeches or worms. It targets all species. Lake trout, not as much. You know, we can get into some different uh, approaches there because you can use bobbers, but you're generally, uh, for lake trout, uh, dead baiting on the bottom. So bobbers, awesome. Always have a couple. It's a, Minnesota is a huge walleye fishery, right? It's our state fish. So you got to have some jig heads. You got to have some soft plastics. One of the most used soft plastics up there is going to be something like this Berkeley Power Bait. Just a simple Mr. Twister style looking white, three to four inches. And then, you know, whatever you fancy in color for jig heads, quarter to three eighth is pretty universal. If you're getting pretty down, down really deep, you're gonna to wanna to get into that three quarter ounce to one ounce size, especially for lake trout, to cover a lot of water faster. They're really aggressive. But three quarter uh, to one for lake trout, quarter to three eighth for walleye is always great. And you'll occasionally pick up a pike or a, a bass with that as well. Um, blue, white, pink, chartreuse, all popular colors up there. Uh, another bait that I really like to have is a variety of wraps. You know, we have, we have an X wrap for some more shallow uh, applications, bass, pike, walleye. Uh, we have like a husky jerk, a little bit deeper, four to eight, same deal. And then you want to get something like a deep diver as well. Uh, deep divers are great for trolling, they're great for casting and getting a little bit deeper uh, into the summer months and especially for lake trout and walleye. So three great baits there. Um, when it comes to line, I'm a mono guy. There's a lot of folks out there that, you know, are that do different, you know, fluorocarbon or braid. Braid is, is always a great option for bass, of course. I'm a big uh, spinning reel guy too as well, so um, we'll get into the reels here. But as for uh, line itself, uh, again, mono. So trialing, always classic. This is the XL smooth casting. I also like the, the, the XL like super strength. It is really nice as well. Um, I generally go with with clear for color. Um, mono sinks a little bit faster, it pulls water faster, but uh, it's just easier to work with for me. And I like to bring either six, eight, or 10 um, in weight, depending upon what I am fishing. Uh, generally, I'm gonna have an eight on if I'm targeting multiple different species, uh, 10 if I'm going a little bit bigger for pike or bigger lake trout. And you can always put on like a fluorocarbon leader, you can tie those yourselves or just put on a, a wire leader. Uh, one thing I like to do that's super important, in my opinion, for the Boundary Waters is having, as I you know, mentioned earlier with, with the rods, three rods, two reels, but I like to have my reels uh, uh, pre-wound, right? So I'm gonna have one reel that has like a, an eight or a six and one that has a 10 on it, and then be able to switch it halfway through the trip after it's, it's stretched and, and, and gotten a little wonky, but one of my favorite reels to bring is the uh, Pfluger uh, President. I think it's a nice universal reel. It can take a beating. It holds a good amount of line. It's a good size and it's affordable. So 
I really tend to run with Fluger. I have for, for years now. They make some nicer, a little bit more expensive versions and some some cheaper styles that you can you can really beat up too. And you know, as I mentioned before, I'm pretty hard on my gear, so uh, I tend not to go too expensive with some of that stuff. So again, you know, we're really breaking it down into this 3600 Plano. Uh, it has a really cool option in it too that is basically like a slip-in desiccant pack. So you know how you're in a you know in a canoe or a boat, you're switching baits, you know, you're getting water on them, they start to rust, whatnot. What this does is a desiccant pack, it's kind of like how if you were to buy like beef jerky or something, right? It's got that little pack in it. It pulls the moisture out of the case so you don't end up having that problem with rust on your lures. Really cool option, sweet case, waterproof, um, and it's gonna hold, you know, everything that we need to bring, you know, aside from the line, maybe some bobbers in a couple spots, but rod-wise, I like 6.6, uh, six, um, medium light to medium. Sometimes medium heavy, it depends if you want, but uh, medium, medium light for me, and this Triumph St. Croix uh, for me is the perfect option. It's a good price point, right around 100 bucks, and uh, you know, it's a two-piece, like I mentioned before, easy for transportation, easy to pack away, uh, keeps it safe, and keeps it ready to get uh, strung up for when you're ready to fish.